and welcome back to my channel. It's finally time for another setup. This time I'm doing a mini HP. I have had this one in my wallet, my Staples wallet. I don't know if you remember any of those videos. I have had this in here for the longest time. You can see the rings on there. I have finally dismantled this guy. I took all the fun stuff off and I am ready to get it out, get it sorted, and get a fresh new look for a fresh new year. I'm very excited to put this together. What I'm going to do is, first of all, show you some of the new wallets that I have found that fit this beautifully. And I'm gonna wait till the end to show it to you, but aren't these cord colors gorgeous? I think what I'm gonna pick is this one. This is what I call the rose gold one. This is, um, it has a, a magnetic closure here and I open it up and it has uh, comes with a pen and it has some credit card holders this is where the mini is going to go I'll slip the back cover in there and it's going to cover so slickly I will have to take the pen out but I'll show you that at the end um, it looks and it feels wonderful um, and it's really inexpensive so I will leave the information for this down below as well as go through all the colors at the end but the main point I need to do is get this set up now I've already picked out my new cover I'm going to just get rid of not get rid of but take off the cover I'm going to be using this cover this is from 2000 I think 18 this is the happy planner memories this is their Christmas memories one um, the mini HP so I'm just gonna actually take off the covers I'm not even gonna use the rings now if you have these rings you can put even a micro mini together um, the these micro HP's that I'm setting up here is really very thin it's probably less than an inch wide but it really can hold a lot and it's the perfect thing for my wallet so let's go ahead and get started to get my setup started, I need to go through my old one and take out those things that I don't need anymore and keep those calendars, notes, pages that I definitely can use over again. So this is just a process of reminiscing, thinking about what I'd like, um, what I want to change for my new planner, and then uh, getting organized to get the setup ready to go. And that's the back cover. So I basically have taken care of all of that. Um, I'm trying to decide what color rings I want to use. Um, I do have these pink ones. I am going to switch out the rings and go with these gold ones. So everything is so neutral and lovely. So that's the color scheme I'm going to go for. So I'm going to move all my inserts and everything old to the side. Um, and so I can get set up with this. First of all, I'm going to take off the covers on this one, and then this is just fine on its own. I can use it some other time. And why don't I just go ahead and start putting rings on? This is the cover. And let's see. That's a lot of inserts to pack into one. And then I have two more to go into. I've got this 2020 and that 2020 calendar. So we always start with the monthly calendar first. You can put that in there. I'm gonna put this guy way up front and then I'm gonna find something at the end to have fun with all of the decoration so that's what I'm gonna start with and then we'll figure out what decoration to put on top with that I am gonna go ahead and put the back cover on so I'm not completely confused constantly there we go so that goes in there I am gonna need a divider. This one is going to be the month. So I'm going to stick that on here. Those stickers fit just perfectly on here. Um, I did not get that one centered at all, but I think I saw these for a buck in my store. They're really inexpensive because I want everybody to be able to plan. It's just 
important. So I'm gonna keep that. And I love the dividers, they're the same size as the um, exterior. So it goes from all the way from here all the way out. So if you wanted to use this for covers, you could just chop off the top tab and it works just fine. Make the second one, that is 2020. These are months. Now these months are the breakdown like this where you can write whatever you want and have a month at a glance or write information down for that month. So that's what's going next. The next one I'm going to pick is the week view. I'm gonna put that here on this tab. Put that in here. And then this is my week view. This is the Coffee Monster Co. one. It's so cute, so cute like that so that's going next and don't worry like i said i'm gonna make everything pretty in just a minute i gotta get organized i did grab a set of eight of my um these so we won't have to double up a little bit or take some out um what's this one i don't really remember. oh that's notes so let's put those notes with these notes and then we have this is a list so we'll put that one next. Find my... I'm gonna use this by. And if you guys don't see any of these sticker tab words that works for you, I can certainly make certain more versions of them and put them in the store. I just um, don't know what you'd like. So that's pretty much it. Next one. I'm going to do urgent because I'm going to put my bills next. What bills need to be done when? There you go with that one. See, I've already pre-decorated some of them from last time. Next is going to be meals. That's always super important, especially when you want on the go and you want to go grocery shopping. See how much you can pack in this little tiny? My best advice for you is when you're putting in all of these Annie Plans printables is that you don't, she has a bunch in the file, take some of the pages out and put them in storage. So I only need two or three weeks of my meal planner in here. I'm not going to put a whole year's worth and then I can just refill it as necessary. The last two are going to be addresses. That one on this one. These are totally see-through. I love the fact that I can see through them, I can do what I want, and I can even decorate them. And then the last one is going to be notes. And yes, all of these sections fit in here. I have 10 dividers now, 10, that's crazy. Notes is in there. And it didn't take me long at all to set this up. Awesome. And there we go. I've got the initial stages of my mini. Isn't that adorable? Now I get to decorate. It's my favorite part. I love this. Um, all right, now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. Yay! Let's start. Most of the items that I have that I'm gonna be working with, I hate to break it to you, but I have no idea where they're from. Most of the time they're from friends that um, I have gotten things from at, let's say, planner conferences and such. So I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. I do like to use um, either a glue runner or this glue dots. It really does keep things put in place. You can kind of place things where you want them. This will be cute, a little off center. And then I'm gonna add some sort of saying or sticker over here. And then I think I'm gonna stick this. This is from C. Amy Draw. She includes this with all of her orders. Just a little handwritten, my name. Looks cute right there. All right, that looks adorbs. Now I've got a brand new one here. I love this sticker from Happy Scrappy the hot cocoa I do it right about here I love how you can see through the dividers and like use the background as part of the design 
And then I'll just stick something up here in the corner. This is perfect up here. I love that, that's gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna even do stuff on the back side. I don't know if I'm gonna have time for that right in a second, but I will definitely do that maybe as we move on here. Ooh, I like that there. Goes so well with the, the 2020. A little vinyl, never hurt anybody. It's perfect. I've got that trimmed. I think I would really like some really um, gold ribbon that goes well with it. So I'll just trim and attach that. It's a little bit, um, I should have ironed it or something, but it'll all work out in the end. I am going to keep my Happy Planner Punch handy because um, I think it would really be cute to keep that handy so we can start punching and adding as we go. And so um, when I do any punching for this, there's no guide because I just use the regular Happy Planner Punch. I just kind of put insert it um, and then I kind of eyeball it by looking this way where it is in the middle of all of those punches. And for this, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I wanna make sure I get that last one up there, so I wanna make sure I get that. Um, now I just gotta find a home for it. Usually I find a home um, before I start punching and creating, but I just think that's so cute with a little um, fox and pip bow on top. Uh, it's adorable, really, really, really special. Okay, let's keep moving on. This I know is from Studio Calico. How cute would that be if I put it right there? I just really want this planner to exude freshness. I know I did, um, you know, my last couple were more of um, keeping in with the season. One was a little holiday. The other one was back to school. This time I just really want it nice and fresh and clean. And so I think you can decorate however you want to, including on top of these dividers. Um, so easily with a fresh new take. So I found this, it's just literally a, a piece of acetate that's in a heart. It is really old. Again, don't know where I got it from. And I'm just using glue stick. And I'm gonna just attach that on top of um, that divider. And then I can add whatever sentiments or stickers that I want on top. So I've just grabbed a couple. Um, I have my ephemera as organized by color. So if I want some blues and greens, I just go to that type of um, part of the bin. Well, that looks adorable. That looks really cute. I really like that. And then if I add a little saying on the bottom, it's nice and fresh. I ran out of glue dots last night, so I wasn't able, not able to use them right now, but that doesn't mean that a glue stick won't work for me. I think these two would make great additions. Maybe the sparkle and shine and the star. I don't know. I'm not feeling it with the star, but at least the sparkle and shine. I put too much glue on that one, but we'll just wonky that one down. No big. And then, oh, maybe this heart. It adds so much bulk. Do you see how thick that is? It's a chipboard piece, but it does have a sticker on the back, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it um, I like, that's, that's really cute. It's like a little scrapbook piece. Oh, maybe I should have done that one. Oh, that would have been nice. Oh, well, we can do this one on the back. Amazing things are going to happen. That's the cool thing about these clear dividers. You can put pretty much anything anywhere and it'll look good. Amazing things are going to happen. Look at that. Doesn't that look sweet? All right, on to the next. I did decorate that one last time I was here. Why do you want something that we'll see through here? I really like that background. Maybe these bubbles. Oh, hello. Can't really see through that. Oh no, all of these are just little ideas. I just kind of preview things and play around until I find one I like. I think I'm going to put this one on there. I think that 
will I love the color and the circle goes with that one to round it out but it's really cute it'll look it'll look and it'll be easy to put something on the back to cover up the glue because we can always decorate on the back side and sometimes it just needs to be something simple like hello I like that make sure that's nice and even and hello really cute and then maybe a little arrow sticker actually I'm gonna do something like that looks cute adding some star detail underneath the hello we'll add a little zing to that and you won't you can see the white through it that works out well all right so when I'm when I've got two sides that I know I want to change to be more cohesive I try to find something with the more dominant color in it so this dominant color is black and I found this really great print from a Kinsley Doodles um, Kinley's Doodles and it's just so adorable I'm gonna cut myself a little piece off of it make sure it's kind of centered I don't not looking for Jesus perfect but oh my gosh is that adorable so cute and it just adds the cohesiveness I don't have to do anything else that's all I need so I am happy with that and moving on and I could still see through the vellum so vellum is one of my big things I adore um, I'm gonna now see I've got to this one I'm gonna incorporate some of this teal onto this side so I'm going to put this little pair of bicycle this bicycle that really has nothing Oop, these ones are hard acetates are really tough on them so I punched this acetate and that's gonna go right there I think that looks really cute doesn't need much just one little piece of acetate to make it pretty all right moving on um, I love this pattern I want to duplicate something over here with the um, with the color of the pink so I think that would look great and um, I don't know something blue maybe this flower that looks adorable and it didn't take much to it okay I think what I'm gonna do is move this flower up to the top and then I'm gonna find some sort of um, girl to put down here I think this one's perfect so this is a Fosk and Pips don't touch my snacks if you can't have a little fun and my, your planner why not so I'm gonna actually cut off this don't touch my snacks I'm gonna put it right there how cute is that because it's still sticker why not right so peel the back off of this guy Oh, it's perfect. Oh, cute. Okay. I'm going to stick this wood green piece of mommy light paper there, and then I can have the ability to like either overlay it or just add, thinking about adding just a fun little die cut to it. And um, yeah, that would be cute. I don't want to cover up the dog though. Even though it's a small space, we can work with it. Why not? Actually, I've changed it up. I really want to use this thankful for you. It's a clear see-through one. That way I can actually see the girl and the dog. And it's just so sweet. So sweet. I don't feel like I'm totally riding over her. Thankful for you. All right. That looks cute. All right, how we doing? I like the back side that that, that works well. I might want to decorate the cover of this one with maybe a little blue or some pink. I think I'm gonna keep this one simple. I'm just gonna put this piece of vellum right over the top of passwords. Keeps it nice and simple and clean. And I can always add something on this other side if I wanted to. I'm just not feeling it right now. Like, So I want this notes section near the notes. So passwords address book this one looks really good 
because I really decorated on the back side. Oh, and this is where I get into trouble. I find things that I want to add to like meals. A meal planner, nom nom nom. That'd be cute. And I'm not gonna put it on the... And then a macaron right there. Now if you want to put things on the acetate, it comes off a lot more easier than if you put it on the paper. But I like the like the layering effect of all of them together. It looks cute. Including this planning time sticker. Doesn't that look adorable? Okay, now, so I find stuff as I'm culling through and going through everything um, that it's like, oh, I really like that. So then I just add it, <laughs> including this diamond. I think it's gonna look really cute on the bottom of that heart. All right, so let's move on before I get all squirrel on you again. See if it's a sparkly paper co. Um, oh gosh, there's so many cute things in this book. I've used so much. But I think for now I'm just going to leave that one and then head back to the notes section. I'm going to go ahead and cover up the back side of the address book. That way it looks a little bit better with this notes. Just a few thoughts, notes, little part. And then I need a little stain from here. Shine bright. How about we put that right here? And this again, I use this. This is just leftover from last time, and I always add note or add things, change things, and it, it really does make it personalized without going too crazy. And then I'm gonna add this piece of vellum since I already had it cut out. I'm gonna go add that in there, and oh gosh, that looks so pretty at the end. All right, let's do one more quick flip through to make sure I've gotten everything where I wanted to go. Um, it, this needs something. I'm not really sure what it is. Must be, I need a little purple on this side. I'm gonna make it simple. I'm gonna put this um, simply gilded little jewel thing over here. Think about mixing, make it happen. looks cute I like that that looks at well works out well okay let's keep flipping I like that one super simple wonder if I should add a little I think I will add a little flower to the happiness of the sunshine that looks good okay I like that tab but I don't like the back side I can certainly jazz that up real easy with some stickers and who doesn't a little, a little Annie Plans Happy Scrappy. I love this one. I have this in every one of my planners. It's so cute. And I just got to get it off the plastic. There we go. Front and center. Right in the middle. Perfect. A little snip that in there. That'll be cute. All right. Moving on. This is sweet. I'm actually going to take one of these. I got it from my friend Kelly in Australia. That looks so cute there. Oh my god, that's perfect. And then put this little tag underneath. Love Joy. Yay! That looks so much better. Okay. Oh, I like this the way it is. That looks good to me. Looks good. This is the vellum. That's so pretty. I just have to use one of these foil seals right there. Oh, perfect. Looks so stellar. I'm going to balance this side out with just a smidge of washi here on the side. I think this wood green is going to look nice. I don't need much. And just attach it and then I'm gonna fold it over. Probably would have been wise to take it out of the planner, but you know how it is when you start crafting, you just gotta get it done. 
And then, and again, we're not going for Jesus perfect here. Trim, trim. Oh, and that looks beautiful. Yes, so excited about that. I'm gonna put something gold in the corner. I just decided to be psycho and put these little clear stickers, but it just balances out that gold perfectly right there. It's from um, this sticker book here. All right, let's keep going. Final flip through, happy with this. Happy with that. Pretty much not so happy with the inside here. How about just that? Perfect. That looks cute. That's simple, elegant. Oh, there's that thankful, that looks nice. The dog's butt's hanging off the edge. And then passwords, address book. I can always add some more to that later. There's the notes section. And all the way at the end, we've got this one. Okay, I'm ready to put it into the wallet. All right, let's again talk about the wallet situation. These are all of the colors that I know that you guys would love. I love this a rose gold. I think the pink, the gold, and the silver are stellar. If you're wanting something a little bit more bold, I like the pink and the blue as well. So I ordered all of those so you can see exactly what they look like. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to go with, should I go with the gold? Okay, so when you get it, you want to open it up. And yes, it's kind of mashed down from shipping, but it does have a nice little vel um magnetic closure right there i'm gonna go ahead and open it up for the first time and it's gonna be sticky so just kind of give it some room wiggle it around take off that pen because you know it won't fit i'm gonna scoot these guys out of the way then i'm gonna go ahead and fit the bull back flap in here and this does open it's just a little squished from the traveling across the ocean i'm gonna slip that guy in there so now I'm ready to insert my cards. All right, I got my credit cards in here and I do have my money and I'm going to, so it's really stiff when you first get it, it's like this. And so I just kind of push down and mold it a little bit, especially near the, the rings on that side. That way it'll stay closed because if you don't, it won't stay closed with the magnet. So, and then you just go ahead and close it with the magnet. I am so excited to show you this. Don't forget to follow the links down below to get one of your wallets, your wallet I'm welcome to, or the dividers in my shop. So I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.